Hey, what is going on, everybody? Drake Hunter here, and in today's Monster Hunter journey, we are joined by Apex. Hey, what's going on, everyone? Hey, man. Thank you for taking the time to uh, join me today. Very excited to uh, have you here. So, uh, hey, wait, before we start, what, what time is it over there for you? Uh, about 2 p.m. 2 p.m., and you are based in the States? Uh, yes, sir. Over in uh, Texas. <laughs> Texas, awesome, cool. Okay, so yeah, a bit of a time difference here because I'm based in the UK. You're out in Texas. That's awesome. I don't think I've interviewed anyone that's based in Texas so far. Have I? Where's Kogas uh, based? Uh, I think he's out in uh, Seattle, I think. Okay, cool. So I there. guess the first Texan, awesome. All right, so the <laughs> first question I guess we'll go with is who are you and what do you do? Uh, well, um, I'm... Apex, um, I'm a Monster Hunter YouTuber, uh, stream on occasion, and um, I just overall love the Monster Hunter series, uh, been around since, uh, well, haven't been really doing content since uh, 4 Ultimate, but um, I've been around playing the series since Free of Mew Night. Awesome, awesome. Okay, guys, and you guys that are listening there, if you do want to check out any of Apex's stuff, um, a click through to all of his uh, channels will be down in the description below. So do check him out. Uh, his streams are pretty funny. Um, I've watched a few myself. Um, and skillful as well. All right, so uh, next question. Which new monster is your favorite and why? Um, it would definitely have to be uh, Balhazak. Um it's just i think it's probably just one of the most like intense gruesome designed monsters um i've never really fought anything like that before um i, I like his his weapon designs and just like just how he looks i mean like uh the the, the first area that you encounter him with all the piles of bones and stuff like like just seeing him there for the first time was just like really intense and uh you know like it'll also make like a really awesome like metal album cover <laughs> oh totally yeah when he does that scream on top of all his bones totally and it's also it's kind of like something i know there's a lot of people that say like monster Hunter world dark souls you know people that don't know the series they see a similarity i guess um val would definitely fit the uh dark souls world huh <laughs> oh yeah yeah something like that or or bloodborne or something like that oh yeah bloodborne oh duh, that's oh Oh, that game. It's terrifying. All right. <laughs> so, that's the new monster. How about from the whole series? What's your favorite monster in the whole series? Um, if I had to say, well, I mean, I have a lot, but um, a lot of people are now, you know, getting used to Devil Joe. And um, he was probably, like, one of the more intimidating monsters when I, you know, first encountered him and try, like, fighting him with the and try there is this um world eater event quest where he was just humongous and like he was just really like intimidating for me because he you know he just kicked my butt all the time but <laughs> uh in, in three ultimate you know that was basically the you know time i you know was like oh i, I could take you on with no problem and um he's just always had this like intimidating factor because he just shows up at random and just decides to ruin the quest for you Yep, and, um, I definitely think I've uh, definitely experienced that myself as well, man. But sorry, you were saying, uh, and um. Oh, and I mean, for a I guess sort of a more newer monster, um, uh, maybe the uh, some of the monsters from the Faded Four, like Glavinus or Astalos, yes, are, uh, really unique. Yeah, 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 I'm hoping. I mean, I doubt it, but I, it would be awesome to see the Faded Four in Monster Hunter World. That would be so oh, cool. Oh yeah, same here. If you if you could choose one fated four to be a Monster Hunter World, which one would it be? Ooh, um, it, I would say either probably Glavinus, just because um, I mean I could just see him doing like a turf war between like uh oh, maybe like turf like wars, Devil yes. Joe or maybe Ajinath, but I'm not I'm not sure who would win that because you know um, Glavinus just has that really sick tale of his yeah oh dude that would be so cool to see or oh, even just the fated four turf wars oh man okay but let's not get sidetracked let's get back to the main questions um so favorite weapons what's your favorite weapon hmm um my 
I mean, basically, <laughs> uh, my all-time favorite weapon has been Charged Blade, but... Um, Oh wait, Monster okay, okay, World hold on, just... hold on. Before you move on from that then, Charge Blade. If you like Charge Blade, what do you think about the DLC that's coming to Monster Hunter World? The Devil May Cry Charge Blade with no shield. That is that is actually like uh, a pretty like awesome concept that I I mean that I've never seen that before. Like I guess it's like the, the shield's invisible or something yeah. like that. Or like whenever he morphs the charge blade, it does like some sort of like summoning uh logo or icon or something like that but um i just really hope that it's uh you know a bit powerful or, or something like that because it just looks um like i'm gonna be using that weapon a lot 100 100 because mine's charge blade as well so if if it's like a proper end game weapon and we can use it and put it into our builds that's gonna look so cool i can't wait but you were saying beyond charge blade there's something else uh well i mean monster Hunter world is actually probably like the first game that's like really open my mind to other weapons because yes, um, same um you know i've like i mess around with a weapon and then i'm just like whoa i like this weapon a lot and yep. like um insect glaive has been like a really close second um and in sword and shield as well like especially the recent uh changes they've made to the weapon it's just it feels more like it has more umph to it yeah yeah and what about so like ranged weapons? Did you try ranged weapons before? Have you tried them now? What do you think? Yeah, um, um, <laughs> uh, back when um, like Double Cross was out, um, you know, everyone was all about the heavy bow gun, and I mean, I mean, it you definitely had to try it because you know it had that brave style where it was just like the heavy bow gun turned into a machine gun. And so yeah. when, you know, World had the, the Wyvern uh, heart where, you know, it was sort of like the same thing, just, you know, didn't have like Pierce or different type of bullets. It was just, you know, machine gun. Um, you know, I messed around with heavy bow gun and bow is also just a really solid weapon as well. And yeah, 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 definitely. I've got um, on my Xbox, I'm definitely a, a maining the bow. It's so good. It's so good. It's crazy. <laughs> nice but yeah okay so um of all the weapons in the game is there one particular like okay so charge blade is your weapon type but is there a particular weapon like a weapon tree that's your favorite maybe aesthetically or stats wise oh yeah um it would probably be the the raffalos design um i've always just been a, a like a it's, it's just always appealed to me especially yeah. the uh like hopefully in world they might introduce like silver raffalos but uh in previous uh titles that they, they always had this uh silver and gold uh combination and it just looked so good and, it, and the weapon itself was like really nice as well i mean yeah i think gold and sil gold um gold rathian and silver rathalos they're g-rank monsters right so maybe we'd see them in a future update maybe they're gonna have monster hunter world G or something, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I mean, um, well, Generations did have them in high rank, and, I mean, everyone was like, ah. terrified of them and stuff, but, I mean, who knows what Capcom's got, got mm. planned. Well, I mean, apparently there's a DLC, so maybe in a future DLC we'll get uh, silver and gold. That'd be pretty cool. But, uh, okay, Definitely. next question. And I'm actually interested to hear this one. Um, what where, when, how? What was your first experience with Monster Hunter? Uh, my very first was um, Freedom Unite. I, at the time, I was moving, and I knew that I wasn't going to have like any access to internet, or um, you know, maybe didn't know exactly what was going to be happening. So I was looking for a game that had like a lot of replayability or it was just like a really you know grindy game something that would keep me occupied for i don't know until whenever i got myself situated mm. and i i saw the <clears throat> the case for uh freedom unite and you know i was looking at um you know it was saying like you know there's thousands of armors and weapons and then it was like oh you can hunt with a cat and i was like whoa what and i was like uh you hunt monsters with a cat and i was like all right i'm sold that's um you know and you know since then i've just been like addicted to the series and stuff yeah awesome awesome okay cool um and i suppose the last question would be um 
if you could give one bit of advice to any new hunter just starting out their journey, what would it be? Oof, that's a bit of a tricky one. Um, the best thing, best advice I would say is uh, try to get out of your, your comfort zone. I know there's like a lot of people at the moment, you know, they, uh, you know, they try to slap on these armor skills, you know, that just, you know, defense or earplugs and, you know, they just, uh, you know, they just want to be comfy. Yeah. Uh, but I mean, I, I really encourage people to, you know, step out of the comfort zone and stuff, you know, to, you know, try to dodge the roars or, you know, like learn a monster's uh, attack pattern and stuff, because when you do that, you, um, you sort of improve and like, you'll notice like, like, like say a random or a new person, you know, that like say they took off all those armor skills and they went, you know, pure offense or something like that. And, you know, they started trying to dodge everything and, you know, maybe they kill the monster quicker and then they're like, whoa, I just, you know, that went a lot smoother than before. And, you know, and before they know it, you know, they could, um, you know, they'll, you know, see themselves, you know, killing the monster quickly and, you know, they'll notice this sort of self-improvement and whatnot so yeah i guess the advice i could say is just you know always you know push yourself you know try something new you know always test yourself yeah cool i mean that's that's sound advice definitely because i mean even me myself like the bow i never really gave it much of a chance and then in monster Hunter world i gave it a chance and actually coming from a heavy weapon like hammer and charge blade and all that and then trying this light ranged weapon bow actually quite surprised so yeah definitely i think that's that's solid advice get out of your comfort zone try something new who knows maybe find something uh <coughs> that works for you so that's awesome sound advice bro um so yeah guys that are listening out there um if you want to check out anything from apex all the links will be down in the description down below do check him out uh awesome hunter does loads of cool content streams uh, speed runs various different things uh, really cool and apex thank you so much for taking the time to share your journey with us well thank you for having me man